Good morning. So in continuation to the discussion that we had earlier on the wrapped foundation, we'll try to solve a numerical problem. A building has to be constructed on a reinforced concrete wrapped foundation of 14 by 21 meter in plan dimension. The subsoil is clay, which has an average compressive strength of 0.15 kilogram per centimeter square, and the pressure on the soil due to the weight of the building and the load is 14 ton per meter square at the base of the raft. Unit weight of the soil is given in ton per meter cube. You are asked to find the depth of the bottom of the raft so that the factor of safety of 3 is attained against the shear failure. Now the data already given in the question includes the, the uh, breadth of the foundation, the length of the foundation, QU is already given, average compressive strength from which you can get CU, undrained cohesion, unit weight of the soil is given. Now, our intention is to calculate the depth at which the raft should be placed so that it will have a factor of safety of 3 against shear failure. Now, the equation that we know is this, the net ultimate bearing capacity defined by 5 CU into 1 plus 0.2 df by b into 1 plus 0.2 b by l. Now since we are given with the average compressive strength in kilogram per centimeter square, you can find out Cu which is half of that uh, which we had discussed in the discussion on UCC test. Qu by 2 is equal to cohesion or undrained cohesion to be specific. So 0.15 by 2 kilogram per centimeter square we convert that to tons per meter square and breadth is a is, is 14 meter length is a larger dimension 21 meter so substituting these known values in the equation q and u can be written as 0 0.75 multiplied by 5.65 plus 0 0.081 df where df is the unknown and Q and U again is an unknown. So I can write Q and S or the safe bearing capacity as Q and U by 3. You just divide it by the factor of safety. So I get Q and S is equal to 1.41 plus 0 0.02 df. But to solve the equation, we are given with the data. We are given with the load at the base of the raft. So you have the load of the building and the surcharge load of the soil at the base of the raft. So QNS is also equal to 14 ton per meter square already given the question plus gamma df, gamma df being the surcharge load of the soil. So in short I can equate these two equations in which when solving I'll get the unknown df 6.56 meters. So in short when you place the raft of a size 14 by 21 meter in plan at a depth of 6.56 meters in a soil whose unit weight is given as 1.9 ton per meter cube and the properties C as 0.07 per kilogram centimeter square and the load as 14 ton per meter square, it will have a factor of safety of 3 against shear failure. Now in continuation to this particular question, we'll discuss a term called float. Now for NCC, normally consolidated clay, the settlement of the raft is usually very large. But in case of OCC, over consolidated clay, the raft settlement would be quite negligible. Now the net increase in pressure at the base level of the raft, comparing a case before construction and after construction, can be written as this. Net pressure is equal to load by area minus the stress due to soil gamma df. Now the floating foundation idea is quite simple. If a raft foundation is designed in such a way that it is kept at the depth, for instance in the previous question the depth was 6.56 meters below the ground level. Now, if that depth is such a way that the term Qn is equal to zero, then it's called a floating foundation. 
In short, if the depth of the mat foundation is designed in such a way that Q by A is equal to gamma df, then you get a case where the settlement is theoretically zero because there is no net increase in pressure. So since there is no net increase in pressure, you can't expect settlement. So that kind of a foundation is called as a floating foundation. Now, in case of cohesion less soil or sandy soil, let's assume that you have a raft. In such a case, when the dimension of the raft is very high, the bearing capacity that you can get from the Tarsagis equation or the theoretical equations could be very large, which may not make quite logical in all the cases. So in cases where you you have raft and cohesion less soil, what you do is you resort to settlement criteria for the design of the raft. For the reason that when you try to try to work out the capacity based on bearing capacity theory, you'll get a very huge value. So what you do is to be on the safer side, you uh, you take the safe settlement criteria by assuming 25 millimeter settlement. So when you have 25 millimeter settlement assumed, you get the safe settlement pressure as 17.5 into n minus 3 into w gamma in kilopascal. The terms are written here. Df is a depth of the foundation. B the smaller dimension of the raft, n the corrected SPTN value, w gamma the water table correction.